Munna here and Aaron. We're going to just be doing the next part of the um, reinforcement video. And that's the addition of the flexi glue, which is my shoe glue equivalent, fantastic elastic flexible glue. Now I bought these from the pound shop, uh, pound land. Uh, I believe they're a pound each. I bought a whole load of them and I bought some, I bought a tube of Gorilla Glue as well for $7.99. Now I've used hot glue and drywall tape so far paying extra attention to the uh, weak points on this new um, body shell. And I'm just going to show you where the weak areas uh, that I identified on our old body shell. Right, here we can see our old body shell and most of the weak areas are on the back portion of the body shell. So that's back here where it's split and here where this attaches, there and there, here, here, here. Uh, yeah, that's about it really. Um, oh, I've taken some splits on the side. So that's why We've added extra reinforcement to these areas on this one, around here, around the sides, and I've made some hot glue ribs. Now, the beads were then, after um, applying them, they were spread out to be thin and not uh, too big so as to be uh, too stiff, because you want some flex, but also re uh, rigidity too. So reaching a balance is the important part. So let's get on to our gluing part. Right, so let's get to gluing. Just got to open the glue. There we go. So let's get to applying. Uh, I'm going to start at the front. Have we got it all on video, Aaron? Yes. Okay, so let's is this open. Yeah, there we go. Let's spread it out. Oh. All right, so work in a systematic fa fa um, fashion. So I'm going from one side to the other because I've just realized it's very clear and hard to see where you've applied. I do like the consistency of this glue, it's quite thick. All right, let's concentrate on the wheel arch.
Mm, it smells very mentholy. Okay, as you can see, it's going on nicely. Um, what I'm aiming to do is to make sure it's enough to smooth the grid pattern, if you like, of the drywall tape. So once it's smoothed over like that, I know I've got a decent amount of glue on the section that I need it to go on and then move on to the next section. So make sure to get it all the way to the edge. Now we'll do the next section. Right, when squeezing your glue out, it's best to squeeze from the bottom upwards and maybe fold the tube as you empty it so it doesn't squeeze back down. Get every last bit out. Work it into all the contours and grooves and shape changes. So we've almost done the entire front section now. So just this last little bit, and that will be the front part glued. Okay. Right, these bits here are weak points, so pay particular attention to these parts. Make sure you have a good amount of coverage here. Okay, we can start moving on to the next section now. So big flat sections can be done with a large application of glue and then spreading, whereas the more difficult contoured section, I'd pour an inch bead of glue, spread that and so on, a little bit at a time. But this is a large flat surface, which can be just tackled like this. So just done the windscreen of the body shell. Now we're doing the roof, the flat roof section. And this is a large flat-ish area. We have ribs that I made using the hot glue. So this will add extra protection. this roof section I've put down many beads as you can see so let's just spread what we have make sure to 
get it nice and spread evenly. You want a nice even thickness as much as possible. Now, don't worry too much about imperfections. It's on the inside. Nobody's going to see it. You ain't sitting in it. So you don't need to get too anal about getting it smooth like you're plastering your wall or something. Yeah. Just some basic due diligence. We'll see you do an okay job now. That I believe is the that section done. Now I purposefully left the sides because I don't want to be touching it with my sticky hands as you can see I've got glue everywhere I don't really want it stuck to the outside so I think we I might call it at the end of this section and wait for it to dry before I move on to the next parts but so far I've done wheel arches I've done the entire front up to here, windscreen area, <coughs> the roof up to there. So just adding a bit more to some areas that require it. Now, once this dries, I will be putting on more layers of drywall tape. But I think it's come along quite nicely. Now, obviously this does add weight. Each tube of glue is, I believe, these ones are 20 odd grams. So if I've got 10 of them, that's 200 grams. Now I've gone through, this is the fourth tube I'm on now, and that's gotten me up to here. So 420, that's 80 grams so far. This is quite a thick, pungent, glue it's making me light-headed i've got the window open and i'm sat near the window so be sure to do this in a well ventilated area okay so i'm just finishing off the wheel arches because i don't want to move on to a new section so I've not got much left in this tub and I have punctured it so I don't want to leave any glue in it. So let's fold it up as we go along. And we want to just do the wheel arch up to here and then it's a clear demarcation between where there is glue and where there isn't. A demarcation line if you like. All right so as I was saying I wanted to get the tire wheel arch complete with a nice thick spread of glue. Now I'm paying particular attention to the edges because I do want the extra rigidity I will have the strip that I'm going to be putting on, the edging strip, but I just want to build it up slightly. There we go. Yeah, I can feel the difference now. Okay, yeah, this side is a lot better. So that is complete. Yep, I'm happy with the results. Where has this come off from? Looks like a bit of excess. Uh -huh. I can apply this somewhere where it's required. Let's just plonk him there. There we go. Oh. I am putting on tape 
now will be so easy with the glue. It will stick on so greatly and so easily.